following President Biden's announcement of a new effort to get aid into Gaza by sea, a ship is waiting in Cyprus loaded up with food to head into the Strip, but has not yet set sail. The food on board that vessel is being provided by World Central Kitchen, the charity run by Chef Jose Andres. They say they are ready to go. Technically, there are no problems, but they say there is a diplomatic holdup at this point that is preventing them from setting sail. Not clear what that holdup is. Humanitarian organizations are saying that these aid drops by air we've seen over the last couple of weeks, this new effort to get aid in by sea is really no substitute for the effective delivery of aid by land into Gaza from Israel, from Egypt, and for creating safe conditions on the ground for that food to actually be distributed to people who need it. This temporary pier that President Biden has directed the U.S. military to build off the coast of Gaza is going to take two months to set up. That's according to U.S. officials. The U.N. is saying people in Gaza are already on the brink of famine, that there are children in the north of the Strip dying of malnutrition and dehydration. Here in Jerusalem, Palestinian Muslims are marking the first full day of Ramadan, the Islamic holy month. This is normally a time of celebration, a time of being with family, of feeling close to God, but there is a heaviness in Jerusalem today. One 38-year-old man told our team this is the most painful Ramadan he can remember as he sees the images out of Gaza. There's also a very heavy Israeli security presence here in East Jerusalem right now, including a new set of checkpoints that really look like something more out of the occupied West Bank than what we're used to seeing here in the old city of Jerusalem. Raf Sanchez, NBC News, Jerusalem.